according to a plan a team of woodcutters decided to harvest 216 meter cube of wheat in several days in the in the first 3 days the team fulfilled the daily assignment and then it harvested 8 meter cube of wheat over and above the plan every day therefore a day before the planned date they had already harvested 232 cube meter, meter cube of wheat how many cubic meters of wheat a day did the team have to cut according to the plan so if you if you understand the question let me use a pen here there is this plan okay let's use a different way yeah so there is this plan where a, a team of woodcutters decided to harvest what 216 meter cube of wheat in several days now what is the number of days is not known to us but look at it the amount of work to be done is 216 meter cube that's the work in some number of days let's assume d days right let's assume the number of days is d now in the first 3 days first 3 days the team fulfilled the daily assignment which means they worked with the right capacity and then after that and then it harvested 8 meter cube of wheat over and above the plan every day you getting it they had some plan to harvest uh, some uh, you know some uh, quantity of wheat every day right like here it is 216 meter cube overall they said they will do it in d days so first 3 days they worked accordingly but after that they have increased their capacity right they have harvested 8 meter cube of wheat over and above the plan every day so this is extra what is extra 8 meter cube of extra harvesting is happening every day therefore a day before the planned date so they had some plan to finish it in d days right a day before the planned date which means in one day less in one day less they had already harvested 232 meter cube of wheat now understand their actual work to be done was 216 but they have ended up doing 232 and that to a day before the planned date a day before the planned date so you understand they have taken one day less to do some extra work to to you know finish not only the work given but also some additional work there so how many cubic meters of wheat a day did the team have to cut according to the plan how many meters uh, how many cubic meters of wheat so what is the per day work that the team had actually planned uh, to harvest every day to cut every day so that's the overall question here right total work to be done is 216 they have decided to do it in d days first three days they work accordingly but after that they increase their capacity they do 8 meter cube of extra work every day and end up doing 232 total work in one day less than the total number of planned t days so what was the initial plan how many meter cube of wheat to be cut per day is the question here right now very easy to solve see we know that the total work to be done is 216 right look at it you don't have to write all these steps in the exam just for the sake of uh explanation i'm putting it up right total work to be done is 216 total number of days that we have total number of days that we have is d right so work per day what is the work per day that they need to do 216 by d yes or no 216 by d so let's say if they want to do it in uh let's say 2 days so 216 by 2 108 meter cube per day if they want to do it in 4 days you know 216 by 4 54 meter cube per day uh, 54 cubic meter per day so that's basically the requirement right now what happened in in the actual case what happened just understand for the first 3 days the team fulfilled the daily assignment what is the daily assignment see this becomes the daily assignment now you understand this is the daily assignment 216 by d is the daily assignment so for the first 3 days they worked according to the daily assignment so how much of work is over See, two sixteen by D can be done per day. In three days, they will do three into two sixteen by D. So this is one part of the work. After that, what happened? After that, they've increased their capacity by how much? Eight. So earlier they were doing two sixteen by D. Now they are doing two sixteen by D plus eight. Two sixteen by D plus eight. Two sixteen by D plus eight. For how many days? See, the, in the first part they work for three days. In the second part they are doing this much of work per day. But for how many days is the question? D minus. 3 minus 1 days now understand why minus 3 minus 1 clearly total number of days required is d they have already worked for 3 days so this they will be doing for remaining d minus 3 days but we also know that they have finished or the work in 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 a day before the planned date so that means they have taken one day lesser than the actual requirement and that too they did not do 216 total they have done 232 total 232 you able to follow very simple 216 by d is per day's work 216 by d d is the total number of days so per day 
two sixteen by d. For the first three days, they worked accordingly. So three into two sixteen by d. Plus after that, they are doing eight meter cube of work extra each day, right? So two sixteen by d is the original requirement plus eight. For how many days? See, if it is, let's say if they finish it in the required time, not a day before or day later, we will say d minus three because. They have already finished three days of work, right? Now this is d minus three days, but they have actually taken one day lesser than the planned date. So d minus three minus one, and it should not be balanced with two sixteen. Two sixteen was the original work. This is actually the total work, total original work, I would say. This is total original work. What's the total done work? Total done work is two thirty two. You understand? Total work done. Total work done is not two sixteen. Total work done is two thirty two. You have to keep this in mind. That's it. One equation, one variable. Solve and get the answer. What will you get? You'll get the number of days. But he's not asking you to find out the number of days. The question here is how many cubic meters of wheat did the team have to cut according to the plan? So this answer will be equal to two sixteen by d. So basically, we have to find out what is two sixteen by d. Right? I mean, if I know the number of days that they had, uh, they need, they will be able to solve it. I mean, we. Uh, I mean, if you know the number of days uh, that they will need to finish the work, then we can say per day they will do two sixteen by d. That's the whole idea. So we are trying to solve the number of days here. Solve for the number of days here. So that one equation, solve and get the answer. This is one way of doing it. Again, do not go by the length of the explanation or the number of steps that are put on paper. I mean, if you if you really look at it, I don't think all this is to be put on paper. This is this is just your mental understanding, right? Total original work two sixteen. We know it is given in the question. Total days d is an assumption. Work per day two sixteen by d obviously. Total work done two thirty two again given in the question. So all these need not be put on paper. All you have to write on paper is this equation. And solve for d. Once you solve for d, take two sixteen by d as the answer. Otherwise, the other way to do it is go by the uh, options. You can also use the options, but options have been given in different way. I mean, you cannot substitute the option in place of d. Remember, if you try to substitute twelve, thirteen, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six options one after the other in place of d, you'll not be able to get the right answer because options are nothing but two sixteen by d. Yes or no? We have realized that two sixteen by d is the actual answer. So what is given in the options is all two sixteen by d. 216 by d, right? 216 by d. Of course, you can eliminate some options here directly if if you want to go by that. But you can also solve the equation. So so let's try and solve the equation first, and then we'll go by options. I'll tell you how to use options as well. Let's let's solve for this first. Okay. Of course, it'll uh, lead to a quadratic equation. Uh, you'll have to you know deal with that. There's no other way out. So this is like 3 into 216 by d, right? So uh, that becomes how much? Sorry, I think I have to. Use the right color, yeah, yeah. So three into two sixteen by d. So this is like three uh, uh, into two hundred six hundred and sixteen into three is forty eight. So six forty eight upon d plus. This is two sixteen by d plus eight. So two sixteen plus eight d. Two sixteen plus eight d upon d into d minus four. I know this would be a little time consuming, but there's no other uh, way out, right? I mean, you go by options instead. I mean, if you don't want to do this. Yeah, so solve for this quadratic equation. D is LCM very clearly, so you can actually, you know, D is LCM in both together. You can cancel out D and multiply D here, two thirty two D, and now solve for it. So six forty eight plus two sixteen D plus eight D square minus two sixteen into four minus eight D into four equals to two thirty two D, right? So very quickly, six forty eight plus two sixteen D plus Eight d square minus two sixteen into four is how much? Eight hundred eight sixty four minus eight sixty four, and eight d into four is minus thirty two d, right? Eight d into four, eight d into minus four, minus thirty two, equals to two thirty two d. Sorry, this is two thirty two. I mean, you can still cut down a few steps if you can add up terms directly here, right? So, what's the next step then? 8d square. Now this minus 32d. If if you actually see this 216d, and and 26. What are the terms with d here? 216d minus 32d, and this goes on the other side. It becomes minus uh, 232d. So 216d minus 232d will give you minus 16d. Minus 16d and minus 32d is minus 48d, right? So we will be left with what? 8d square minus 48d, and then you know the constant values are 648 and 864. So take the difference now. 
864 minus 648. How much is 864 minus 648? Let's subtract 700. So 164, 164 plus 52. So 166 and uh, what was it? Sorry, 50. Yeah, 166 and 50. So 216. Minus 216 equals to 0. Right? I know it looks time consuming and lengthy for one mark but maybe this question carries a weightage of two marks with the changed pattern of exams these days and then do not go by the actual length I am explaining this I'm not solving this I'm explaining this so it's taking longer so take 8 common I think all are divisible by 8 right uh, 160 plus 56 yeah so 8 ones 8 six and uh, how many times 160 plus 56 27 right so finally we get d square minus 6d minus 27 minus 6d minus 27 equals 0 i think uh, minus 9n plus 3 right minus 9n plus 3 will give you the answer so d will come out to be either 9 or 3 i mean d will come out to be 9 or minus 3 you know that number of days cannot be negative so minus 3 is ruled out yes or no you substitute minus 3 it satisfies so minus 3 if you substitute this becomes 9 this becomes 18 9 and 18 27 minus 27 if you substitute 9 81 minus 9 6 is yeah 54 27 yeah correct so 9 and minus 3 is the answer but number of days cannot be negative so hence 9 days final answer is 9 days i mean not the final answer but number of days is 9 days you getting it 9 now what's the actual question the actual question is 216 by d right how many cubic meters of wheat did the team have to cut according to the plan so according to the plan it should be 216 by d so 216 upon 9 how much is 216 by 9 this is 180 plus 36 so 24 24 is the answer final answer option 3 24 is the final answer so i think this is the solution but yeah you try and cut it down uh, you know cut down the time required by reducing the number of steps or you know reducing these terms that you put on paper it, it's all about your understanding of the equations now Right? So that's one way of solving it. Let's now look at what else can be done to get the answer. Right? So let me show you the other way of solving this question now. I'll just clear this part, the left hand side part so that we have. Right? 24 is the answer we have already established using the regular process. But let's now go by substitution. So substitution is again uh, easier way of getting the answer. So this is regular method let me say. And substitution method. Now, how do you use the substitution method? Simple. I mean, again, this equation is important. There also, the equation is important. You have to frame the equation, but you need not solve the equation. The advantage is without solving the full equation, you may be able to eliminate some options and find out which is the correct answer. Now, <coughs> Like I've told you already, we have understood that 216 by D is what is given in the options. 216 by D is what is given in the options. So according to option 1, according to option 1, 216 by D equals 12. So that should mean that D is equal to what? See, try to find out the number of the value of D from this and substitute that D back here. Then it will become a lot easier for us to solve this. Right? So 216 by D equals to 12. So D will be equal to what? 216 by 12. What is 216 by 12? 216 by 12 will be 18. D equals to 18. Yes or no? D equals to 18. Now substitute 18 here. So see, 216 by D is 12. I mean, see, already you know that this is... You understand? From the option, we know that 216 by D is 12. From that, D comes out to be 18. Now, substitute that. This is 12. You are able to follow? I am substituting back in this equation. I am substituting 216 by D equals to 12 and D equals to 18 in this equation. now. So what do we get? Uh, 3 into 12 plus... 216 by d is 12, 12 plus 8, 20, 20 into d minus 4, d is 18, 18 minus 4 is 14, equals to 232, is it correct, see 20 into 14 itself is 280, 280 plus something will not be uh, 232, right, so this is wrong, this is not balanced, hence option 1 is wrong, similarly if you substitute option 2, now you don't have to do this for all the options, again you will understand that when you substitute option 2, you know 216 by d according to option 2 equals to 13, but from this, we get to know that D comes out to be non-integer value, right? D will be equal to what? 216 by 13. What is 216 by 13? Uh, 10 plus 86, right? 86 is not divisible by 13, right? 86 is not divisible by 13. So, this will result in what? Uh, non-integer value. Hence, this cannot be the answer. 
See, number of days has to be an integer value. It cannot be a non-integer value here. We are talking, I mean, usually it is an integer value. So this also gets eliminated. Right? Then you substitute maybe 24. You will find that yes, 24 satisfies. I mean, if you substitute 216 by D equals to 24, uh, D comes out to be what? 216 by 24, 9. So option 3. I mean, of course, we know option 3 is the correct answer, but I'm just showing you the verification for that. Right? So according to option 3, 216 by D equals 24 implies what is the value of d d comes out to be 216 by 24 which is 9 substitute these two terms now 24 and 9 in this equation so what do we get uh, 216 by d 24 so 3 into 24 plus 3 to 24 now this is what 24 plus 8 32 32 into uh, 9 minus 4 5 32 into 5 how much is this is it 232 or not check so 3 into 24 is 72, 32 into 5 is 160, 72 into 60 is 232, yes, balanced. Since this is balanced, I can now say that yes, 24 is the correct answer. Similarly, if at all you have to eliminate, see 25 and 26 also will get eliminated directly. Why? Because 216 by 25 is a non-integer value, number of days cannot be non-integer. 216 by uh, 26 also will be non-integer value. So if you actually see, the elimination method or substitution method is very easy. Because option 2, option 4 and option 5 directly get eliminated since it is giving us a non-integer value for number of days. The only two options that we'll have to verify is 12 and 24. 12, we will know that it's not satisfied. So obviously 24 has to satisfy. So that's the way you go with options and get the answer really quick.